Okay, we're gonna do a real quick unboxing here of this fountain pen. This is the Y Studio Portable Brassing Fountain Pen. I already pulled off the plastic cover. I wanted to avoid the noise. Um, it's just a black cardboard box. You open up and slide out the interior. Inside, um, you lift up, there's a little tab here. You just lift up the top to see inside you have your booklet of information. And I, I like um, how thorough they are with their brand and how positive their brand is. I really like how they approach it. Okay, and this is all your information about the pen, the company, the materials, how to use your pen, how to maintain it. And today I wanted to um, go straight from our unboxing to this. We've had a few questions about how the portable function on this actually works. Um, so we're going to run through it. And inside the little pamphlet here, it does show you how to do it. And so your pen comes with the accessories that you'll need to turn your fountain pen into a portable version of itself. But we've had one question come up a few times and um, people weren't sure if their pen was working right or if they were doing it right. So we're going to run through it. So that's your information. Oh, this is also a little piece of sandpaper because some people want to go ahead and um, speed up, speed up the brassing effect. Um, if you want to speed up the brassing effect on your pen, so right here you can see, so these pins um, on the edges, you can see the brass that's underneath the, co the color. Um, and as you use your pen and it gets knocked around or just with, you know, regular use, the brassing effect means that the color will wear off in certain spots, certain spots more than others, and it'll become even more uniquely your own pen. If you want to speed that effect up, you can take some sandpaper to your pen's finish and um, actively create that brassing effect. Okay, so just real quick in case you aren't familiar with the Y Studio, you've got the faceted sides here. Um, you do have the ability to rotate the cap on the on the barrel um, without taking it off because it's not a it's not a threaded cap. It's a snap-on compression style cap. Um, the section is um, also metal, but it's just the brassy color. Um, let's get a look at the nib here. Here's your nib. Okay, and it is a cartridge converter fountain pen. The converter comes already installed in the pen, which is nice. Really appreciate it when they include a converter with my cartridge converter fountain pens. They do have the logo on the barrel of the pen. And that's the only um, identifying marks on the outside of this pen. Okay, so also included with your um, pen, so you've got some leather strips here. And then you have, okay, there it is. This is how you're going to cart your pen around. So it's got the Y Studio branding on the bottom there. It's a hard case and it has, you'll see a, it's a threaded, you thread this off and you can see right here, there's a um, cutout in the top and we'll start there. So you take your pin and you're going to slide it in here and this is where people question. They're like, wait, it doesn't just slip in there. Um, you, it's not just gonna slip in. You wanna push it through and it's kind of a tight fit because that's what makes it safe. I, th I, I, I think that's what helps me make this portable option um, appropriate. Okay, so then you pick um, one of the little leather ropes here and you just thread it through the top of your um, pin. And then um, you will bring whatever you're gonna put your pin around on. And I just brought my, my purse over here, so. And it's got a handy little spot. It will be easy for me to hook my pin on. So I slide the rope through the spot where I want to hook my pin. And then you can tie it if you want, or um, I've seen people use the little gold ring. That, okay, and then that's on there. And I think that I would, just because I'm a little paranoid, I would probably tie like a bow right here, or a couple knots actually, probably. 
and then just let that hang. But, so my point being, so you've got this all on here. And so you're gonna cart this around town, willy nilly. It's not coming apart, that's threaded, you know. But what about when you're out somewhere and you go to use your pen? You take off the um, hard case and then you just remove your pen and you use it. Choo -choo 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 -choo. You're using your pen. Um, this, the fact that this is gonna stay here sturdy and it's keeping your, it's making it so I don't lose my cap. So it's just gonna hold on to that. Um, so yeah, that's just basically how you use it. And, and it's one of those things that everybody's gonna probably do a little bit differently. Um, there's a couple different options for the color of the rope you have. Some people use this little gold ring, some people don't. Some people um, use just the gold ring. Some people um, use, you know, tie it in a bow or have knots, or it's gonna be something that you evolve on your own, however you're comfortable doing it. But it's just a kind of a fun little addition to the Y Studio line if you um, ever carry your pins around with you. So that's an answer to a couple questions we've had about the Y Studio. Um, portable fountain pen, um, that tight fit of the cap into the hard case, um, that seems like a good design choice to me just to make sure that it stays in there. And then I will show you how to get it out. So you just remove the rope however you had it um, attached and then you've got your pin in the pin case um, separate from your bag or backpack or belt loop or whatever you were doing, your belt buckle. So then you would just unscrew the hard case. I'd remove my pin just to set it aside for a second. And then you just, and then you just pull this out. And it's not gonna hurt your pin. That's just how it was designed so that it's a, it's a really firm fit in there. You shove it in there when you wanna put it in. And when you're done, you just work it out. So you can have your pin in the hard case, porting it, port, porting it around, carrying it around, or you can just have it right there on your desk. If you need, if you need more information about the Y Studio fountain pins, or if you want to check out other options for this brassing fountain pin that's got the portable option, check it out at pinchlay.com.